What's up, YouTube? It's your boy again, James to the O. I want to talk about those NBA Finals. This is part two. It's the only part two I'm going to do. Ain't on three. Anyways, that boy LeBron James did that. First time in history. Points, rebounds, assists, block steals. That's never been done. He led the way. Last year, he led in points, rebounds, and assists. But yeah. I think I saw an article on Facebook, Newsfeed. I love you on Facebook, by the way. And this, and Isaiah Thomas was like, LeBron James could be the greatest player ever. It's like, what? I think that one ring in Cleveland, just that one championship in Cleveland, is bigger. Listen up to me, my opinion. It's bigger than the two rings he won in Miami. He led the way. But Kyrie Irving, game seven, I personally believe he, he led the way down the stretch. LeBron James making some key blocks. I seen that block shot on Eagle Dollar. Woo! His head was at the rim. Arm is at the equal to the freaking square on the. Whoa. He came out of nowhere, swat that. Steph Curry thought he had an easy lane with the left hand. Ron J swat that too. Then Barbosa thought he had an easy one. He swat that too and knocked him down the ground. But as far as it being rigged, game seven wasn't rigged to me. Not game seven. You can say all the other games you want to. Now, I did see people saying on Facebook something I was saying too that if this is rigged because. They were down three games to one, and he forced game seven. Was it rigged when OKC was up three games to one, and Golden State Warriors forced a game seven? Just saying. So on Sunday, on Father's Day, happy belated Father's Day to all you guys out there that are fathers. So, I was in the basketball gym on Sunday. He was asking, who's going to win? I was asking them, who's going to win? They asked me. I was like, history finna be made. It's like, what? Oh and thirty-two. It's never happened. Oh for thirty-two. Well, it's about to be one and thirty-two because LeBron James finna do it tonight. He finna show out. He's gonna show out big. I thought he was gonna have another forty point game. I was wrong. But while I was right at he's gonna have a triple double. He did just the that. He is the first player to <laughs> Close out the series of the NBA Finals and win fashion with a triple-double. He did it in 2012, Game 5 against OKC as a Miami Heat player. And he did it again this year. But this time it was a Game 7. First time a triple-double was posted in the Game 7. Finals with the win. Unanimous MVP. Some people arguing talking about Kyrie Irving should be MVP. And I was in the gym today. And one guy was like, Kyrie Irving, Tyree Irving, I was like, Tyree, okay, should should have been Finals MVP. He outdid LeBron, he outscored on this, that, I said, wait a minute, hold up. Not when LeBron James led the series in points, rebounds, assists, block steals. You can't ignore that. That's never been done. He slept on that because he didn't know that. That's what happens when you don't pay much attention closely as you should. We all watching the same thing. What did you miss? It's like you in school. Y'all getting the same lecture. What notes did you miss? Okay, well, let me help you out with your notes. Because I see a few little holes in it. But, yeah. Now, when he saved them game seven, I admit that I'm a LeBron fan. Kyrie Irving did the thing down the stretch. He was making some difficult shots. That little left hand leg, he just threw up there after Jaron Green fouled and got the hand. was a Oh man. And that three swish in Curry's face. Curry did not play like an MVP in that series as a whole. I'm sorry. You could like Golden State all you want. You could like Curry, Splash Brothers, all you want. He did not play like an MVP. He did last year. So I guess he's a regular season guy, does good, does good in the playoffs, but when it comes down to the big stage, the NBA Finals, you can't find this dude. It's like 17 points. Oh, Splash Bros. Game 1 
had a combined less than 20 points. But your league's MVP, stop it. I, now, as far as LeBron James being the possible greatest player ever, I'm going to say not yet. Because there's some things that he still needs to work on that Jordan already had down pat. Those ship shots that LeBron James be missing at times, that got to be worked on. Not having a mid-range jump shot consistently, that needs to be worked on. You've been in the league 13 years. There's no way you should not have a jumper. I mentioned this to somebody today. I went Carmel, Anthony, LeBron, both in the same draft class 2003. Mel was a decent jump shooter. Better than LeBron. But then that third or that fourth year in Denver, his third or fourth season, he was shooting lights out. Like there was no tomorrow. Like Carmel has he got a sharp shooting jump shot now? Since when? You see, that was a trainer, something that LeBron should have do, should have done, or should do still. And as he got with that trainer the whole summer, he lit the NBA up. He was the league's leading scorer. Then he got into that brawl fight with New York Knicks. He sucker punched somebody. He got hit. And then Nate Robinson run after him. He running from a five foot seven dude. I was on the floor dying, crying, laughing off of that. I said, let me YouTube this. <laughs> I said, I can't get enough of laughing off of that. I went this six foot eight, 250 pound dude running from a guy five foot seven. And weighs 150. Stop it. But besides all that, all the jokes and stuff, he did. I went. There ain't no excuse for LeBron why he ain't got a jump shot. Forget that. I think his first ever head coach was like, I tried working with his jump shot. He just don't got it. Oh, um, when he shoot, he shoots kind of flat. He pushes it and he don't do a little follow through all the way. He shot put it. He's got to work on his mechanics. That's all. And that'll be fixed. But as far as not having a jump shot consistently and missing those chip. Shots too, like points in the paint. Sometimes he'd be missing. Jordan, Jordan lay those down. And that nine for 28, nine for 30, er, hold that. Jordan don't do those in the finals. I'm just saying. He is more skilled than Michael is. He could pass, he could rebound, he could chase down blocks, he could defend the whole floor, he can guard almost anybody in the NBA. And also play all five positions like Magic Johnson. And he does it very well. So he is more versatile than Michael is. But one dude told me yesterday, was like, something that everybody knows already, whether he's LeBron fan or not, that he lacks the eye of the tiger. In other words, he don't have that kill instinct. Oh, he's been in the league too long not have one. And when he was in Miami, and he lost to Dallas, when he beat OKC and the Spurs, that was a kill LeBron. He may need to go back to that. Let's say he wins another title next year. Or oh, when his career is all said and done, he has at least two more rings after this third one. I'm going to say it. He is the best player ever. Not yet, though. Not right now. Not today. Not right now. Is he far away from Michael? No. He's got a few little things you need to work on and be very consistent at it. And then, of course, close out games. LeBron one time said, there between me and Michael, that stands out to him is that Michael close out games. LeBron don't close out games like that. He do, but not like Mike. So there's a few little, few little errors that he got to fix. Once he fix it, and it's consistent from here on out, I'm going to say it. He's better than Michael. He's already a better skilled player than Michael. Those passes that don't get there normally get there. And his teammates score. That's how you Wow. You think you're not wide open. You think you're not open. But LeBron going to make you open. <laughs> Damn. But not, not yet. He's not better than Michael yet. There's a few little aspects there that needs to be fixed, like I said. But this finals performance, yeah, he pulled the biggest upset ever. 
he did that. He led the way in five major categories. He's close to Michael. By the way, Michael's number one player efficiency ratings, and LeBron is number two in PER all time for a career. That finals performance was outstanding. He he showed up big time. Those little few little areas he's got to work on that's it, that's all. That's it for me for part two. Hopefully this video is not too long for you guys. My bad if so. But you can like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. LeBron is the king. Congrats to him for that ring in Cleveland. He deserved it. Hope he get another one. And keep being the best player you can be. Keep on down there. Keep doing what you're doing. And eventually you'll be better than Michael. All around. From A to Z. But not right now. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Comment down below. I'll be willing to read your comments.